Nope, I'm not dead. <laughs> anyway, how's everybody doing today? Let's turn some lights on, get into my shop here. Get, get right into this video here. First things first, I have never, ever, ever on any of my ATVs ever had to grind off and split a race off the inner axle or my lead, the spindle. Never, ever have I ever had to do that. And with that being said, 27,496 kilometers, my bike's been parked for a couple of days now. And today is September 12th. I missed my September 9th video. September 9th was three years. So it doesn't look like it because these actually are used axles. Um, they're actually out of my buddy's 1000. And I kid you not, joking aside, this thing's been sitting here since the 7th or 8th. I've got eight hours into trying to get that axle out. Uh, so much so, day one, I ordered this on Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it in the description down below. Just got it today. Thing is, while I was sitting here last night and I was talking to my mechanic friend who was on his way over here to give me a hand, I just thought, you know what? Because I had the whole axle apart. The axle's right there. The output right there, actually, the outer, is actually in my scrap because it fell off. This one is seized, so this this both my axles were shot. The inner that, the inner race on that thing is garbage. The bearings fell all over the place. Um, so anyway, long story short, I had a pickle fork in there. It was actually called an axle popper kit, um, and you guys can see some of the witness marks on that. See the scoring on that. See it? Not on, don't look on the axle. You're looking on the diff. See like right in here? You see that? Actually, I can feel the scoring in that. I'm amazed I don't see a crack or a split in the aluminum casing of this thing because I was beating the crap out of this trying to get this thing out. And last night what I ended up doing was I finally got, I just decided, you know what, what the heck? So I put, my, I put my pry bar in here and I started prying. And because I had everything apart, I don't have it now, but this cup is just sitting here. So I got my five pound and I just started knocking it all the way around this. And then all of a sudden it, it started popping out. So I've had a, a testament guys. I kept missing my hammer. You see that? Bent that ear. So that's probably gonna find some interference with this A-arm. For sure but uh at this point i really don't care i'll deal with that some other time whenever i gotta take this air arm off but eight and a half hours i have nice thing is because this thing is a pass-through so anybody that does have a problem you cannot get this other side off because well that little tab right there is in the way you can't get anything behind it so basically you have to fight with the right side now if you do get this right side off like what i did what i ended up doing was i actually took that axle I put it in that hole, grabbed my five pound, and I pounded it out the other side. Hence, that's why that one's sitting there. That one's off the left side. So anyways, I have to finish putting this all together again. I've got brand new bearings in there, which I've showed you guys before. I never did show you guys how to put these bushings in, get them out. I think I showed you how to get them out, which was screwdrivers. I actually just used um, a socket, like punch a uh, uh, get them in a little bit start them get a socket on it and just knock the bushings back in they're pretty straightforward uh, with that being said i don't know if this widened out if these shrunk i don't know what's going on with this exactly but i was looking online brand new knuckles will cost me 115 bucks a piece next time i go to service these things they're getting brand new spindles or knuckles that's it's hands down they're brand new I'm not dealing with this anymore. If anything, if I could get brand new A-arms, because I don't know if something is on this thing is twisted or what, but why I keep wearing out bushings. Now, with that being said, I have 27,000 kilometers on this, and I've changed the bushings three times. Bearings, this is the third time I've replaced the bearings. 27,000 kilometers, not bad. I'm about to put my original belt back on because my original belt only has 10,000 kilometers on it. This belt has 17,000 kilometers on it. That is unheard of. My clutches have 27,000 kilometers on them. 
Twenty thousand. What are, what are, what did I uh, start the video at? So I've never serviced these things. You guys saw my video when I took my clutch box off and took off the original belt. So I'm not going to show you guys this right now, not unless I find something. But I'm pretty sure my clutches are worn. Uh, 27,000 kilometers would not surprise me one bit. People change these clutches out at 5,000 kilometers. And here I've got 27,000 kilometers on it. So anyways, I've got a TikTok now. I've actually got a video on there. It's got over 8,000 views where all I talk about, it, it's a 15 second video where I said, look, 2020 sportsman, 2021 upgrade, don't get confused, 27,000 kilometers, who said Polaris was unreliable? 8,000 views on that. Ha, <laughs> my very first TikTok video. Anyway, at Gall at 1972, same thing, or at Gall, uh, Dead Gall 72, uh, yeah, Dead Gall 72. Same thing as my YouTube channel now, and yes, I did change my YouTube name. Too, too similar to my other YouTube, so I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna change it. It's at Dead, uh, uh, Dead Gall 72 anyway. So YouTube, Dead Gall 72. Um, a lot of people think I'm dead because <laughs> I don't upload a whole lot. Again, Dead Gall 72. So I hope you guys don't mind that name change. If you guys come up with a better name for my channel, I don't mind changing the name of my channel, make it a little bit more appropriate. Um, anyways, I don't wanna give a whole lot more on this thing. This thing's been, there's things about it. I, I you know, I've owned it for three years now, 27,000 kilometers on it. There's things about this bike I don't like. Would I buy this bike again? At this point, I honestly don't know. Reliability, I haven't had any issues with it. But it being Polaris, I think, you know what I mean? The fitment issues, which I've talked about before. Um, outside of that, the maintenance on this thing has been incredible. So owning a Can-Am with all the things you got to change in a Can-Am, all that stuff. I, I think right now today, 2023, 2024, I would definitely buy a Can-Am Outlander and probably an 850. I don't know if I'd buy a 1000, but definitely an 850. Maybe even like a 700 or something like that in can -Am. But they've got a lot so softer uh, suspension in it. That's a whole different video. I just wanted to show you guys this is where I was at now. Um, just putting this thing back together again. I got those bushings are new. Uh, those bushings are new. I didn't touch those bushings. I'm not touching these ones. The other side, of, that's tight. That bearing's new. This bearing's new. And these axles are... are these axles have about 6,000 kilometers on them, but they're solid. They're off my buddy's XP1000. He changed those things out a while ago, so he said I can have these ones here. So I just got to polish all these things up here, uh, lube these up before I put them back in the spindles. Um, that side there is actually like brand new. I think that's actually a newer axle than this one. But yeah, and then I've got to take my clutch box part, put the old clutch or the old belt back in. I want to check the condition of these clutches too. So you guys might see a short on that. I don't know. But uh, that's her, guys. Uh, just a quick video. Um, hope you guys like it. I've got to change the fluids in this, this, and the front diff. I, I have to get the oil change kit. I'm actually overdue for my uh, fluid changes right now. But anyways, I'm almost 10 minutes into this video. Eight minutes anyways. So I did get this. And the uh, thing is about this. That, just I'm, This is where I started with the other one. So I'm just going to see right now. On video if ho 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 it won't <laughs> you know what I watched a video a while back where a guy said he had to grind this down because right there at the start it was too fat no no <laughs> I actually might have to grind those down those are actually are those bent those are bent up look at that those are actually bent up. I wonder that I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Is it? Look at that. And it's a lot thicker there too. I'm gonna have to take my grinder and actually grind this down on both sides. So I can actually get it. <clears throat> it kinda goes back there. I think I could tap it back. Hold on. All right, so I actually knocked it enough that I actually loosened this off, but I still can't get this. So I actually loosened it off, pounding it in a bit. It did score right there again. You can see that. 
And it just, I just noticed that. It did scratch that too. Oh yeah, that, that actually dug in right there. So right there, witness marks. A little bit right there. See how it's shiny right there? But at least it popped out enough that I can get that in there like that. Now I'm going to put my... Uh, I just want to see. Put my weight on that. Let's see if I knock this out. And wow, did not expect that at all. Look at that. Look. And I'm not getting the nut behind that. That's the nut. It's not going behind that. I would literally have to grind this thing down to half its thickness to get that to go on there. Because I am not getting that. That hole's too friggin' big for my slide hammer. That's a standard slide hammer. How in the world? Anyway, I digress. Just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna push that axle back in to seat it. I'll have to visit this another day when I need it. Cause that's not gonna work even for my car. <laughs> that won't even work for my car cause the slide hammer doesn't fit in that. That is dumb. Anyway, that's her guys. This is where she's at with it. This is my ninth birthday sportsman video. So uh, that's it. This is all I'm done for. it. I'm not doing anything else. Not saying anything else. This is the end of my video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you found it informative. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. Subscribe, like, share, do all that good stuff. Hit the links in below. Lumens.com for all your LED emergency plow lights, uh, off-road strobe lights, off-load uh, LED lights. Get them all. Lumens, um, you have until the end of 2023 anyway. Seagull, all lowercase 2023. Get you 15% off at checkout. Check them out. HT, uh, what is it? HTTPS, colon, whatever, www.lumenshpl.com. Uh, lowercase Seagull, S E A G U L L 25, or to, sorry, 2023 for 15% off. Anyways, that's it. I'm done. I'm done talking. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.